going on YouTube? It's your boy Ray here, back again with another video. Um, today's video, man, we got two local pickups and two local drop-offs. Just finished my pre-trip inspection. Right now, we're fueling up. Um, so let's hop on straight into it. Uh, for those that have been following, um, know that this past weekend I was out in Kentucky and uh, I was looking for me something bringing me back home. Unfortunately, I wasn't able to find me something bringing me back home, mainly due to the fact that uh, I was rushing. I had to get back home. It was like really, I had a really pressing matter that I had to attend to. Um, so I had to end up deadheading from Kentucky back home to Virginia. Man, it was like 400 something miles, man, cutting through the mountains. It really killed me to make that trip deadheading, but I had to do it, man. I had to do it. Um, like I said today, we got two picks, two drops. Um, yeah, over these past two days, man, while I wasn't doing anything, it was really killing me out here because those that got that hustle and that ambition in them, they already they, they know what I'm talking about. Like sitting home, not doing anything. I was just itching to get back out in the truck and get some more money, man. But uh, you know, sometimes you can't put money over everything. You can't put money over everything. Even though it's very important, you can't put it over everything. Um, so as we, uh, as I get closer to the pickup, I resume this video. All right, so yeah, as I was saying, over these past two days while I haven't been on the road, uh, one of the main things that I was working on is, um, I've been, uh, looking, uh, trying to work on these couple local contracts that I could work with, that I could do, so that way I won't have to be on the road all the time. Um, one of them I'm still in the process of. And then the other is the uh, one of the loads that I'm working on today. Um, the one that I'm working on today is it's also a local contract. It's not really a contract, it's more like a direct shipper. And I was told that they have this lane every day. The only downside to this load is it, it doesn't pay that much. So, you know, it kind of is what it is. Um, if I'm able to land this, you know, keep, keep doing this every day. That would be perfect because I would still I would have time to deliver this load and still be able to do something else locally for the day. You know what I'm saying? Run them bones up. Um, but yeah, yeah. Just keep your fingers crossed with me. Hope, hopefully this come through. And yeah. As we get closer to the pickup, though, like I said, I'll uh, show y'all my loading and unloading. Right in traffic. Headed back to the crib. Got to pick some things up before I get on this run for. Yeah, we can do it all the way up. All right, YouTube, I'm back. Um, right now, I'm leaving my first pickup location. I really don't like recording inside the warehouse and recording people and stuff like that. I just find it a little weird. Like, you know, you never know if people want to be on camera or not. So, um, but I still try to give y'all a little bit of footage of me being inside these warehouses or whatever. So, the little clip on the insert inside this video that's gonna be me slow and uh, I'll show y'all as I get closer to the drop okay, so, so we had our first drop off location this location is a 7-eleven I'm delivering a uh, I'm delivering a um, they said it's a freezer to a 7-eleven and this one is driver assist with lift gate service so I'm about to I'm about to try to manage this thing off here as y'all see it's big as hell so i try to get this thing off here get unloaded and head to the next stop
Oh, listen. Man, this thing is over a thousand pounds. It's like 1,200 pounds. I get it off here with a pallet jack. Like, ain't no way in hell I'm gonna get this out. They gonna have to call somebody with a forklift. Man, today has been so frustrating to say the least. Like, what I thought was gonna be like a little easy pick up and drop and keep it rolling for the day has not been. So let me give y'all the backstory of what's going on so far. So I get to my uh, first pickup. Uh, get pick, get loaded, no problems. Get loaded, no problems. I head over to the receiver for the first drop. And as you've seen previously in the video, it was a 7-Eleven. So I'm at the 7-Eleven and what the shipment was a big freezer, like a big uh, freezer that they put inside the store. I get there and there's three people there originally. There's a cashier. There's another guy, he works for 7-Eleven, but he doesn't work in the store. He just works for the company. He's like a technician that comes out and um, like I guess install the appliances and stuff like that. And then you have a manager and she's leaving for the day. So I get up there, I get to the counter, I'm like, hey, I got a delivery for y'all, woody woo, whatever. And the cashier, she looks oblivious. She like, uh, I, don't, I don't know about it, I don't know. She's like, ask the manager. So I go around, ask the manager. And the manager, she's like, uh, manager she doesn't know either she don't know where I should unload the truck at nothing and so her and the guy that was there they end up coming to the agreement they was like hey just drop it off in the parking lot beside the store right here and Friday once the delivery team come they can just you know get it installed or whatever so I'm like bet so as you've seen previously in the video I you know I uh, lift my take my lift gator up and I start trying to unload the truck but mind you this is like a freezer that's almost 1400 pounds that pallet jack alone is not going to lift it up not going to slide it off the truck and so I go back in the store I'm like hey I don't have like no electric pallet jack I can borrow yeah I don't have anybody else here that can like help me with this shipment and the girl she's like no so I'm like alright bet so I get back I come back to my truck I get on the phone I call the broker and I'm like hey man I understand this load that y'all got me on it says driver assist but um it ain't nobody here to assist me with the dang on drop off. It's just me trying to pull this 1,400 pound uh, freezer off the truck. And he like, all right, so let me give them a call. So I'm like, bet. So he called them, he called me back. And he was like, nobody will be there until Friday to unload the truck. So I'm like, all right, bet. So that was a bust. Then I'm trying to think about what am I gonna do because I have another load that I have to pick up from a Dunlop broker that's like an hour away. And this um this freezer just literally sitting in the center of my box truck and on the broker on the BOL that the broker sent me it said they don't know other freight on their um, on the truck when you pick up so I'm like alright cool so I'm like fuck it so I go end up like uh mind you it's already like I supposed to be at this the second pickup by 11 11 30 at latest it's already 11 15 now I'm still sitting at the first drop off so I'm like trying to stall my other broker. I'm like, hey, I'm uh, traffic is backed up, you know, all this, that, and the third. And she's like, okay. And it's been like an hour and a half since I told her that. So I get, anyway, I get back on the road and I drive like an hour over to the, um, to the next pickup location. Got there, got loaded, no problems. And that was around like 12.45, almost one o'clock. The second drop off for the day is on a military base. I get to the military base and I was told all I need was a photo ID and like my social security card and I can access the base. Get here and they ain't flying with that. They like nah, they're like bro you got a um, this truck inspection station at the military base now. You gotta have a, uh, you gotta have either military ID or like a sponsor. I got a military ID but my military ID is expired. And they want to sell my veterans ID. They want to sell my veterans ID because they said that a veterans ID, you cannot use it for commercial purposes. So now I'm just out here waiting for somebody to come from the base to sponsor me so that I can get unloaded. So just gave y'all that backstory to let y'all know how frustrating this day has been. What I thought was going to be like, you know, a three hour window, a three hour turnaround for everything end up being all day. I got in my truck at like, um, I think almost 9, like 8.45, almost 9 this morning, and then headed to the first pickup, and now it's almost 3 o'clock, and I still got both loads on the truck, so...
that's just to, that's just to show y'all that just because you got a local load don't mean that it's just always gonna be easy man like honestly today i'd rather had got me a load that was going like long distance because i already know i already got that load and i just been on the road and had nothing else to worry about but you know it is what it is it is what it is only thing that i hate is that the broker from my second pickup uh this is my first time working with this broker and she said that she had this lane almost every day or every week and i was trying to like you know get in with her so i can have like a guaranteed lane every day but it's kind of a bad uh bad first impression to have with someone when you're working with them for the first time so hopefully this don't put like you know don't tarnish our, uh, our relationship in the future but i get back on here and give y'all an update on everything once i get unloaded for the day all right youtube i'm gonna go ahead and wrap this thing go for the day man uh like i said early in the video today just had been a complete shit show like um it just just been very 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 frustrating um thought today was gonna be like a simple day but you know what i'm saying because it was a local route but it ended up not being i started at nine this morning and here it is almost six o'clock and i'm just now wrapping up for the day the first load that i end up picking up in day i couldn't drop off at the 7-eleven i had ended up taking that back to the shipper after my second drop off the only plus side of that is that um i got paid for not being able to drop that off and having to take it back they paid me for that and the broker he uh asked me if i wanted to pick it up again and take it back to the uh pick it up and try to re-deliver it on friday so i agreed to that so it's kind of like i'm gonna be getting paid twice for the same load um once i took that load back to the shipper the a guy there he was like that's the third time that that load has been returned due to no one being able to unload it so it sounded like they need to get it together at that warehouse um today was just so frustrating man like i think it really got in the way of me like even vlogging this and making my video like i wasn't even able to i was so frustrated i wasn't even didn't even think about keeping the camera rolling as i was making my second drop off that's how frustrating today was um oh yeah by the way in the middle of my second drop off as i was heading to that destination i ran a lady off the road wasn't my fault but i'll go in detail about what happened with that so i'm approaching the um it's, inspection station because at my second drop off i had to go through an inspection station to get my truck inspected because it was at a uh, military base so as i'm approaching there i had to make a u-turn to get back to where i was going so i'm going down a two-lane highway going down a two-lane highway there's a median and then there's another two-lane highway going the other direction i get in the far left lane so that i can make my u-turn and of course i wait till the traffic uh lighten up a little bit before i start making my u-turn so as I'm making my U-turn, I see a dang old SUV speeding down the road. And I'm like, bro, I hope they fucking stop for a minute. Like, y'all see this big-ass truck in the middle of a lane. So I start making my U-turn, and of course I couldn't make it all at once because I'm in a 26-footer. So I had to start making it, back up just a little bit, and then finish making the U-turn. But as I'm doing all this, the SUV never slows down. This thing on, this female, she keeps, keeps driving. So as I'm trying to uh as i'm finishing the u-turn and getting back into the far right lane she attempts to speed past me but couldn't she couldn't speed past me so she ended up slamming on brakes because she was about to hit me she slammed on brakes and then she had to like run off to the side of the road mind you there's a ditch along the side of the road she blowing the horn and then she fussing and sticking her middle finger up and all this so i'm like bro like that's just dumb as hell like if you see a big ass truck making a u-turn why don't you pause for a second allow me to continue making a u-turn so that way everybody is safe like that was just the icing on the cake and just like added on to my frustration for the day um so i know this video is gonna be like a little choppy i wasn't able to like you know interact with the video that much just just because i was just so frustrated but um i'm about to i'm back at the truck stop for the day i'm parking my truck I'm about to do my pro strip inspection um this won't be the best video man because like i said it was just very very frustrating day but I appreciate y'all for watching. Like, comment, subscribe. It's your boy Ray. I'm out.